Now I'm going to tell you about maps in and how to implement them in Java. So first of all, what is a map? That's something you have to know. Well, a good example is suppose that you um, suppose that you wanted to remember the price of different things that you that you own. So you might have say um, a cricket bat. Can't spell bat. Cricket. Cricket bat. And that might be, I don't know, five pounds. You might have a tennis ball. That might be one pound. You might have a um, coffee pot. That might be six pounds. You might have a chainsaw, that might be £13. You might have um, um, a fur coat, that might be £78. And those might be the things that you want to store. So this is an example of a map. So I think of a map as a bit as very similar to a function in mathematics. You 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 give it uh, you give the function some uh, a value and it returns another value. It's even a bit like a function in in. In programming so it's like if this map was called M it's like saying M of cricket bat M applied to cricket bat bat equals 5 so think of a, a map as a function so a better name for this map wouldn't be M be better if we called it what would it be good to call it price or something or cost or something like that so if we called it price then it's like saying the price of a cricket bat is five so that's basically what a map is it's for when we want to store if you like pairs of values here because we've got cricket bat it goes to five tennis ball goes to one coffee pot goes to six chainsaw goes to 13 fur coat goes to 78 and if it was the other way around we might use an array because an array takes a number and gives us back something else but maps are when we are usually used for if we don't have numbers here so um, it's a nice way of storing values of things etc so the next question is how do we do these sorts of things in Java and what sort of manipulations can we do um, well Basically, if we've got a map, we want to be able to find out the value of a particular thing in a map, and you want to be able to add and delete things from a map as as your as your situation changes. When you sell your cricket bat, for example, you want to take uh, this thing out of your map. If you get a new thing you want to sell, you want to be able to add two things. Uh, you, suppose you now you want to sell your um, tennis racket then you want to be able to add to your map something like tennis racket racket 17 another thing you might want to do you might find that your chainsaw isn't selling very well so you might want to change the price of your chainsaw to something else you might want to reduce the price of your chainsaw to say to nine pounds, hoping that you can sell it. So it's a very useful data structure, and uh, in the next uh, lecture, I'll explain to you how to do that in Java, how to manipulate maps in Java. <laughs>